Oh, 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 uh, oh, you're here. Welcome to virtual reality, or VR. I am the Virtual Reality Assistance and Education Corps. I shall be your guide for the next few minutes to show you how everything works. Let's get started. Have a look around you. The orange border in which you're standing is called the play area. The boundaries of your play area were defined during setup, and VR experiences will take place within them. Now, I'd like to introduce you to your chaperone bounds. Walk toward me, uh, slowly, please, and stop when you see a colored fence appear in the air in front of you. Good. These are your chaperone bounds. They will appear whenever you approach the edge of your physical space to help you avoid bumping into objects in the real world. Let's do it one more time. I'll just move over to the other side. Now, walk slowly toward me on this side. Great. I think you've got the hang of it. Lastly, take a small step back, just until the chaperone bounds disappear. Perfect. Now, have a look at the controllers you're holding. Go ahead, move them around. Wave them in front of your face. They are accurately tracked to your movements. Let's go through each of the controller buttons. On the underside of the controller is a trigger button. Give that a squeeze. Oh my! Oh, that seems quite dangerous. Let's just turn that off for the moment. Next, find the grip buttons located on either side of the controller. Uh, press one of them. Ah! <laughs> uh, the large circle on the controller is the trackpad. It should be beneath your thumb. Slide your thumb around the trackpad. Notice that it shows you where you are touching the pad. The trackpad is also a button. Press in on the trackpad now. Oh, I wonder where that was hiding. Different VR experiences can use the trackpad in a number of ways. For example, let's turn it into four buttons instead of one. There. Now, press one. Hmm. Uh, uh, try another. Uh, one more, please. Well, oh, this is turning into quite a party. Next, look at your controller and find the menu button. As you may be able to guess, many VR experiences will use this button to call up a menu. Press it now. Oh, some nice variety there. Why not try one? Well chosen. Now, find and press the system button, which will summon the Steam VR dashboard. Here it is, the Steam VR dashboard. Note that most VR experiences will pause while the dashboard is on screen. You can use the trigger to select items on the dashboard. And the dashboard can be closed by pressing the system button again. Go ahead and close the dashboard. Well, I believe that's everything you need to know. You're free to stay here and play with the controllers for as long as you like. Whenever you're finished, open the dashboard and start exploring. While you do that, I shall be practicing my latest lecture. The unabridged history of accountancy filing methods. I just need to fetch my notes. Uh-oh. My battery's dead. <laughs> <laughs>